This Youth Update is brought to you by our valued partners for the BT Crockover Superstar Competition, Flo, Banks, the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., Izumi Media, and Liberty Store. This is the Barbados Today afternoon update for Wednesday, July 15th. Thank you for joining us. I am Mary Claire Williams. We begin with a mother's cry for justice. Angela Lloyd, the mother of 20-year-old Dario, who was gunned down a year ago in the Bonnets housing area, is still searching for answers. At a candlelight vigil to commemorate the life of her only son last night, a tearful Lloyd said she just wants to know who shot her son and why to put an end to her nightmare. Lloyd insists her son was not engaged in wrongdoing at the time of the incident, and she says she has only been informed by police that investigations are continuing. But this has done little to ease the pain. Was there any noise with the body that's in her car? I guess. I remember the guest saying, Mommy coming back now. Yeah. I said, No, I'm going to come to tell you. Only when my car break up, and then it was my son. They could have left me in the Ukraine. And the son is not like you see him in the homes. Missing that real. Like, and I said, they don't even feed to cut. They don't even got this train. Because it, it was like, he was like, 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 Mommy, I really feel my food. So I don't even got this train to cut them off. I just guess, try to get up on a day and tell but it's be so hard. He was my only son. Nothing, nothing I know I can't replace, replace Dory. I miss Dory so bad. In other news this Wednesday, opposition leader Mia Motley says she is pleased the dispute between the National Union of Public Workers and the Barbados Investment Development Corporation is over. In a statement, Motley, however, took the government to task for taking a decision to retire workers over 60 years at the BIDC. She insists the government must not hide and pursue a program of economic redundancy behind the guise of retirement. Motley also knocked Prime Minister Frundle Stewart for using what she called intemperate and offensive language in response to union leaders. She said to abuse the young leadership of the union when the country required a level head and a steady hand speaks volumes about his level of disconnect from society. International environmental activist Professor Paul Connett is calling on Barbados to adopt reuse and recycle methods as a form of waste disposal. Connett is a worldwide campaigner against burning as a method of waste disposal. He is in Barbados as a guest of the Future Center Trust, making presentations on the potential dangers of government's proposed Cahill Waste to Energy project. We want modern solutions. And my dream for Barbados is to help this island become a model for the whole Caribbean. We want Barbados to yeah. <laughs> We want Barbados to show that an island can develop a circular economy uh, and persuade not only the rest of the Caribbean to follow suit and cooperate on this, but also be a model for every island in the world. I mean, for many islands, Hawaii, uh, Isle of Man, um, uh, I, uh, St. Martin I mentioned, uh, Curacao, Puerto Rico many, many times, Guam, many, many times, and they're all struggling to handle the waste problem. Government is continuing efforts to encourage young people to pursue careers in agriculture. The Ministry of Agriculture hosted a four-day workshop on aquaculture for youth between the ages of 16 and 35. Organizers are hoping the program will encourage more young people to get involved in the, in the sector and also to create sustainable business ventures. We actually are a commercial aquaculture farm where we produce red tilapia and red cloth crayfish for the food industry. Um, and this is a really great project because the ministry is trying to get you back into agriculture. And this is the main reason that I'm involved in it as a young person who's successfully making a career out of agriculture. And we're also not just using agriculture, but we're using technology. There's regional and international news after this short break.
tip my hand, got to tip my hand, yeah. My Barbados, my bank, got to understand, got to understand, yeah. My Barbados, my bank, ain't nothing like a cool bank fair. None of them others just can't compare. You just got to love that taste. It's a world-class thing this land makes. Whether I'm cruising or at a bar, whether I'm at home, my box bear is never far. For this blessing, got to give the thanks. My Barbados, my bank. Our valued partners for the BT Popover Superstar Competition, Flo, Banks, the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., Izumi Media, and Liberty Store. To the regional scene, all eyes on the labor front in St. Vincent and the Grenadines as the government misses a deadline to review a salary increase proposal by public sector trade unions. The unions had given government a June deadline to consider a one-time payment of one month's salary to public service workers in the absence of a salary increase for 2011 to 2014. But Prime Minister Ralph Gonsalves says the review will be completed by the end of this month and he warned it must be seriously considered since the offer could cost around 25 million EC dollars. In international news, popular Archbishop Desmond Tutu has been admitted to a hospital in Cape Town, South Africa, with a persistent infection. But family members say he is expected back home in a day or two. He previously underwent hospital tests for a persistent infection in 2013, and last year he cancelled travel plans because of long-running battle with prostate cancer. Bishop Tutu was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1984 for his efforts to end apartheid in his native South Africa. That's the afternoon news. For more news, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can catch us on Izumi Media on bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune into Channel 101 on live TV as well as Mix 96.9 FM. I am Mary Claire Williams. Good afternoon. Our valued partners for the BT Popover Superstar Competition, Flo, Banks, the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., Izumi Media, and Liberty Store.